Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Andy Shepard, and welcome to the 2020 WALK Late Afternoon Late Afternoon News Report, brought to you by Usinger Sausages, one of the largest and best tasting varieties of sausages and meats. Usinger Sausages are the Wisconsin-made meats you all know and love, and are great for any occasion or time. You can't go wrong with Usinger Sausages. First in the news, everybody is aware of the monster quake that struck Haiti and caused mass chaos, but now another quake equally disastrous has struck in another part of the world. Last Saturday, an earthquake registering a magnitude of 8.8 .8 raged through Chile, a country with a very long history of disastrous quakes. According to NASA, the Earth has also been affected by this disaster. According to scientists at NASA, the quake may have shifted the Earth's axis, causing shorter days of approxim approximately 1.26 microseconds. The magnitude 9.1 quake that caused the giant tsunami in the Indian Ocean back in 2004 shortened the length of days by 6.8 microseconds. In the U.S., many airlines have canceled numerous flights due to a potentially large snowstorm in the southeast. Due to a low pressure system that is threatening to spread snow over parts of Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and the Carolinas this Tuesday. The National Weather Service has issued storm warnings and winter weather advisories for the southeast, with predictions of up to six inches of snow in the mountains of northeastern Georgia. AirTran Airways has canceled 58 flights into and out of Atlanta for Tuesday. It looks as if our mail might become an even slower process. The U.S. Postal Service plans to propose this Tuesday an adjusted mail service schedule, which will most likely cut Saturday mail. The agency's plan will also suggest closing some branches and expanding its use of self-service kiosks in many stores and retail hotspots as a part of its effort to wake, work its way out of a mountain of debt. Last night, the Oscar-nominated Hurt Locker took Best Picture and Director at the 82nd Academy Awards, beating out the other major contenders of Avatar and The Blind Side. This also made Catherine Bigelow, director of The Hurt Locker, the first woman in Oscar history to be named Best Director. The movie took a total of six Oscars. Others who won it big include Sandra Bullock for Best Actress in The Blind Side, her first Oscar, Jeff Bridges for Best Actor in Crazy Heart, Monique for Best Supporting Actress in Precious, and Christopher Waltz for Best Supporting Actor in Inglorious Bastards. In sports, this last Sunday, the Canadian Olympic hockey team beat the U.S. Olympic hockey team in overtime. The U.S. scored in the last 20 seconds to tie the game at 2-2, but the Canadians scored in overtime, making the final score 3-2. Canada took gold, U.S. took silver. The overall medal count for the 2010 Winter Olympics put the U.S. in first with 37, Germany in second with 30, and Canada in third with 26. Canada took the most gold medals with 14, Germany took the second most with 10, and the U.S. took third with 9. In basketball, this last Sunday, the Orlando Magic beat the Los Angeles Lakers 96-94, giving the Lakers its first three-game losing streak since they acquired Paul Gasol from Memphis in the February of, of 2008. Vince Carter had a total of 25 points, making his first 13 free throws, and Dwight Howard finished with 15 points and 16 rebounds. Alpha dogs usually have the big bark, Howard said after the game, but since we're so-called puppies, we won't bark as loud. Shaquille O'Neal has injured his thumb and is due for surgery that should put him out for six weeks, or the rest of the regular season. O'Neal says that although he will be out for a while, if he is ready in time for the start of the playoffs, he will definitely make up for his timeout. In college basketball, Syracuse made team history Tuesday night as they took home the Big East Championship trophy after they beat St. John's 85-66 in its first game in two decades as the number one team in the nation. Arenes Onaku finished with a season-high 21 points and 8 rebounds, and Andy Rottens had 14 points and 7 assists. This is only the second time Syracuse has won the Big East title outright. For the weather, it is currently 55 degrees at the lakefront, and approximately 60 degrees inland, partly cloudy, with some rain expected tonight. Tomorrow is expected to be mostly cloudy, with some occasional showers, a high of 65 and a low of 50. The rest of the week is going to be the nicest we've seen perhaps yet this year, partly sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 52. Traffic on Highway 41 is backed up all the way to Burleigh Street due to a large semi that tipped over this morning on the zoo interchange. 
Time from Capitol Drive to downtown is approximately 45 minutes. Traffic is at a standstill, so if you are planning on heading downtown this afternoon, you should probably take a different route other than Highway 41. The accident should be cleaned up, and traffic should be moving again by late tonight. Again, this news report is brought to you by Usinger Sausages, one of the largest and best-tasting varieties of sausages and meats. Usinger Sausages are the Wisconsin-made meats that you all know and love and are great for any occasion or time. You can't go wrong with Usinger Sausages. This has been your 1020 WKALK Late Afternoon News Report. I'm Andy Shepard, and have a good rest of your afternoon, everybody. Here's the Kyle Hoffman Late Afternoon Talk Show.